Bloxy2 introduces a new way to showcase variable products on your online shop with variation swatches. These are little visual representations of the variations of a product by giving you options to display variations as a few swatch types, such as buttons, a single or dual color swatch, a little image, or even a mix between colors and images. The variation swatches system works with the attribute system from WooCommerce, so half the job is already taken care of. Also, please note that the Variation Swatches module is available for all of our Bloxy Pro subscribers on the Professional or Agency package, as it is part of the Shop Extra extension. Okay, let's get started. For our demo here, we already have a few demonstration products and attributes imported. Let's first turn on the module. Navigate to the WordPress dashboard, choose Bloxy on the left, and then choose the Extensions tab. Look for the Shop Extra extension, and a bit further down the page, the Variation Swatches module. Click to turn it on. Since we have mentioned product attributes, the next step is to go there. Choose products on the left, then choose attributes. As you can see, you will have an additional option to select what kind of swatch type you'd like to assign to newly created attributes. As we already have a few demo attributes pre-configured, let's see how to configure swatches for them, a typical scenario that you may find yourself in. We take our skin tone attribute here and we'll configure an image type swatch for it. Choose the edit button, then select the image type of swatch and save the changes. We now have to go back and configure its terms. As you can see, when adding or editing attribute terms, you have a few more options. In the image swatch type case, you can upload an image from your computer that represents that variation. And you can also add a little tooltip that represents a simple layer of information. This can be useful in case of visually impaired shoppers. We'll configure these two terms accordingly by adding an image to each of them and leaving the default tooltip option in place. Great. Now let's configure an example button swatch type attribute. We'll use the skin condition example here. Sure enough, edit it and select the button type of swatch. Button type swatches do not have any additional configuration. They're a different design compared to the default drop down menu. Next up, let's configure an example color swatch type attribute. Here we'll use the color example. After updating the swatch type, we can configure the attribute terms. And as you can see here, you can select the representative color for these terms or even create a dual color swatch in case your products have more than one color. For our example, we'll stick with one color for each term. So far, so good, but we're not fully done just yet. We have one little mention before we move on to the customizer. There are some cases in which your products might not use the globally saved attributes, or some cases in which you'd like to override what kind of swatch design is used for a specific product. This can be easily achieved via the product edit screen when editing any variable product. A new swatches option should appear, letting you edit these two to your heart's content. Right, now for the final part. Let's jump into the theme customizer to see what options are available to display the swatches on the front end. First, we'll check out the general options for styling the variation swatches. This can be found under the WooCommerce general pane, variation swatches section. Notice that for each kind of swatch type you get styling options, such as showing it as a circle or square, how big they are, and so on. For product archives, there is a special data layer that shows variation swatches in the product card. To find this option, go to the products archive pane, click on the card options, and then make sure the swatches layer is turned on with the little eye icon. Expanding it gives you a few options, such as limiting the number of swatches displayed in case there are too many of them. Single product pages automatically have swatches shown on them, as variations are an integral part of the Add Product to the Cart mechanism. Save the changes in the customizer, and let's check out what we have achieved on the front end. Since we have turned on the Product Archive swatch display, we can already see them here. Notice how beautiful they look like and how much they visually enhance the experience. And of course, they also show up gorgeously on the single product page. Before we close out, we'd like to show you just a little bonus. Remember that we've been talking about mixed swatches between colors and images? 
Let's see how that would look like for a product. Doesn't this look very cool? Your shoppers will now have a much easier time in picking the perfect product with a visual input that leaves a good impression. And this is just another way in which Bloxy2 enhances your shoppers' e-commerce experience while visiting your site. Pick a swatch, any swatch. If you wish to learn more about what Bloxy2 has to offer, continue on onto our website or click on one of our other videos to keep watching.